And back here in Missouri, coronavirus infection rates are climbing and vaccinations are slowing down. But a Mizzou researcher is leading a study to find out how long immunity from vaccines lasts. I sat down with Dr. Mark Daniels to discuss his upcoming study. Dr. Daniels, thanks so much for joining us tonight to talk about a conversation about the COVID-19 vaccines, longevity and the efficacy of them. And ME researchers are actually going to be doing a uh, study to see really how long they can really protect someone against COVID-19. So kind of talk about what you guys are going to be looking into. Well, we're going to be looking into specifically into the antibody levels. We're going to be looking at different cellular immune responses, uh, the T cells and B cells, how long they last and really you said it all in a nutshell. We want to know simply how does protection provided by these vaccines last? What is there any difference between the different vaccines that are out there? There's three that are approved in the U.S. Um, we actually have two samples from outside of the U.S. Uh, and how do they differ between what patients who have experienced COVID, their long, uh, their immunity, and then looking at there's some of our, our participants have had COVID and been vaccinated. And so we're looking at all of the different possibilities and scenarios you could imagine looking at how long and how well uh, their immune uh, system has responded. And can we look at any demographic in these individuals to show and predict this kind of uh, types of efficacy. Sure. You know, I think it's probably one of the most asked questions and probably the one of the most, you know, searched questions too is how long, yeah. you know, is this going to last? And, and we've seen reports where it'll say you know, anywhere from six to eight months possibly. Um, is that something that you're seeing as a doctor looking into this? We see it, yeah. In, in patients that have been infected with COVID, we see on average 30% of our patients lose uh, their antibody titers in, in the anywhere from 90 days to, to six to eight months. Our vaccinated patients, uh, we've just started looking at those in depth, but um, again, some of those have extremely high uh, antibody titers and other ones have lower. So there's a lot of variability and that makes it interesting, fun, and why we put this study on. We really want to find out exactly how long it does last. Right. It's very important information, especially, you know, as the state is really trying to ramp up getting more people vaccinated. We, we've seen the statistics. We know the data that shows that we're one of the lowest in the country with vaccination rates. Our mm -hmm. cases are rising. Delta variant is spreading rapidly, you know, around the state. So the more information we have about the vaccines and how long they can protect you uh, really hopefully will help more people get vaccinated. Right. And this is this is the real response. And, you know, and we're looking at, you know, how well does the immune response against the original strain, the the they all have alpha, beta, the alpha strain and the original strain. How well do those antibodies protect against uh, these different variants? So to get this survey done and, and to get this study done, you need 500 people who have either received a COVID-19 vaccine or they soon plan to get the vaccine. Right. Um, have you had people sign up already? Yeah, we have 250 people wow. that uh, are signed up. Um, yeah, about 200 blood draws and 50 on the on the schedule to get more. And when they're part of this study, what exactly are they agreeing to? Well, they're agreeing to uh, donate some blood. Um, they are agreeing to uh, come back uh, a few times, uh, about every three months, depending upon where you are in your vaccination process. And uh, there's a number of other questions uh, on there uh, that they can uh opt in or opt out and, and it's best that, that they uh, sign up and then they go over that. There's a lot of freedom in, in what they. Okay, Dr. Daniels, thanks so much for joining us tonight to talk about this and hopefully you get that 500 magic number that you need to continue to study. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you.